Ya estoy adentro. Ok, gracias. Perfecto. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. We are, I'm great, teacher. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Okay. So I have um, some of my students here. Um, not everybody is here, huh? Just, I have Daniel and Jose, Jesus, and Jonathan. Okay, all right. How are you guys doing today? How was your day? Did you have a good day? Yes, I have a good day, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, all right, good, good. Okay, Carmen, are you there? Is she there? Maybe not yet. Okay. All right. Jose, are you there? Ah, there yes, she teacher. is. Okay. All right. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Oh, I can't hear you, Carmen. I don't know if it's um maybe it's your speakers, your sorry, the, the microphone. Maybe you can check. No? Okay. Hey, hello, Grace. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, and you? Good, good. Thank you. Yes. Enjoying the weather. It's, um, it's raining again where I am. How about you guys? Is it raining where you are? Yes, in my house it's raining. It's raining. It's just started, yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Do you do? Where do you yes. live, Grace? I live near Hospital de Diagnostico. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. So here in San Salvador. Yeah, in San Salvador. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. Okay. And um, Daniel, where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla, teacher. In, ah. It's raining too. It's raining in Santa Tecla. Yeah, it's close. Yes, to a, yes, a little. Yes, a little. Yeah, bit. yeah, it's true. That's true. Okay. And uh, Carmen, are we able to hear you now? Oh, I think. No, I think we're still having problems hearing you, um, Carmen. Maybe you can try. Can you try without the Maybe you can try without the the headphones. Maybe the headphones are the problem. I don't know. My, I'm guessing. Okay. All right. Let's see if maybe we can hear her better now. Are you there? Yeah, can you hear us, Carmen? Carmen, no, not yet. Or what you can do, Carmen, is maybe leave the meeting and come back into the meeting. Maybe the that will help with the audio. If you can hear me, you can maybe leave and come back. Okay. All right. Okay, great. Josue, Josue, how are you? Hello. Uh, good evening. I'm good. doing good. And you? Pretty good. Thanks. Yes. And um, is it raining where you are? 
Uh, yes, but actually it is uh, a little bit only. Just a little bit. Okay, so yeah. it's drizzling. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you know? Do you know that that word drizzle? No. That no, word. Oh. I didn't know. Okay, I'm going to put it in the whiteboard in a moment. Um, I'll write write. Okay. Write it. Make a note to write it down in the whiteboard. Drizzle. Yeah, drizzle means that when you, um, when it's raining, but just a tiny bit, just a little bit, like in in um, in Spanish you say like uh, it's a lluviznando, right? So it's drizzling. Mm -hmm. Also, another word that oh, it, okay. um, it that is similar to drizzle is uh, it's spitting. You can say it's spitting. Yeah. Okay, so it's not very hard and uh, not hard rain. And um, uh, where do you live? Uh, I live in Ayutuxtepec. In Ayutuxtepec, uh huh. Okay, it's yeah. actually quite close to San Salvador, right? But maybe it will start raining yeah. a little bit harder later. Okay, great. We sure, have I think so. Yeah. Do you guys like the rain? Yes. Do you like the rain or do you hate the rain? How do you feel with this weather? Well, in my case, uh, I like it. You like the rain? Yeah. Well, the, ra the rain at this time is nice because um, you get to sleep nice and warm in the bed right yeah okay all right guys uh, so, we, without without any fun yeah exactly <laughs> yeah because oh man it's like it's horrible when when it's very hot um and the mosquitoes too yeah something i personally i can't stand the mosquitoes oh they're a nuisance do you guys know that word nuisance Nuisance? No? Okay. I, I will. Molesto. Pardon me? It's kind of molesto. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's the idea. It's something that's annoying, something that uh, you don't like at all. That's a nuisance. I will write it also down in the in the in the whiteboard when we when we get to there. So I'll write it down so I don't forget. Okay, excellent guys. All right. Well, I hope you've had a wonderful day today. Um, we're in the middle of the week. Only two more days of work left. Um, yay. <laughs> How many of you work Saturday and Sunday? Do you work Saturday and Sunday? Nobody? No. Nope. No? Yes, in my case, yes. I work in telecommunication and I have to be ready in 7024. But it's rare because in my case, it's like a support, a like telephone support. All right. Okay. Yeah. So definitely you have to be working uh, like all weekend. Probably uh, many people call yes. during the weekend. Yes, all the time. Mm -hmm. all the time yeah just when i have uh, some vacations yes i have to rest but uh, when we have a uh, the normally the weekend or the how do you say the holidays i have to be ready for the phone but it's nice for me yeah i can imagine do you do you uh, have holidays like um, in your work, do you take the holidays or do they just pay you double? Yes, I have a holidays, but uh, no, but I don't know how do you say, uh, para las fiestas. Uh, for the festivity. On December, on Semana Santa. For festivity, festivity. yes. In that day, uh, we have to be ready in my case in the depending my in my company no not my company my office <laughs> my office 
depend because we have to be ready. But it's some calls in any times, but uh, normally we, I, I can't to go to the office. Yes, I try to do, or we try to fix by, by remote, remote mode. But uh, when I have a, my annual vacation, I, I, could, I could rest all the time. That's nice. At least you have that option. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, well, um, well, before we start, guys, I want to, um, I want to see, we're going to wake up a little bit because I know that we're a little bit tired um, after, after our long shift at work. So um, I'm going to ask you guys, we're going to be playing a little game. Right now we're going to work as a class together and it's going to be something simple. Um, what we're going to do is simply, it's, it's a game, it's a very quick game. Uh, we're, we're trying, what we're trying to do is to activate our vocabulary and our memory there. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is something simple. I'm going to say a, a word, any word. To give an example, um, let me think, light. Okay, let me say, let me think of the word light. A light is a word that starts with the letter L and it finishes with the letter T. So the next person is going to say the, a, a word that starts with the letter T. Okay, so you can say, for example, um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me a word with letter T. Fire. Tell me you. Very good, exactly. Okay, to, okay, let's take tomato. Let's to get, to give you an example. Okay. Um, what She's tomato. Sorry? I can make a sauce, a sauce with tomato. <laughs> okay, tomato sauce. Okay, maybe yeah. <laughs> a little bit more complicated. Okay, sure. Okay, tomato sauce. What is the last letter in tomato sauce? Mm -hmm. Exactly letter E. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the next person, you're going to choose the next person, and that person is going to say a word with the letter E. The, the important thing here is to, we're going to be doing it with time, okay, so we're going to time ourselves, and you cannot, um, you cannot go over five seconds, okay, you're going to have to Say a word in less than five seconds, okay? Uh, it shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, you guys know so much. You have so much vocabulary, so it won't be that difficult. Five seconds. If in five seconds you don't have, you can't think of a word, you're going to have to have a penalty. That's the, the bad part about it. Now, um, and, oh, there's uh, also one more um, condition. The other condition is that you cannot repeat a word that somebody else said. If you repeat a word that somebody said, then you also have a penalty. Okay? Got it? You understand? You understand the instructions? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I just have only a question. Okay. Uh, the word that we are gonna are gonna to say should be an object, a verb, or or anything. It's up to you. Right now, uh, we're okay. going to we're gonna make it easy, and we're gonna give you um, the the liberty of using any word that you that comes to your mind. Later on, we might we make make it a little bit more complicated and spice it up, and um, get you to to um, to find a word about a specific topic. But right now, we're gonna make it open. Okay. So, like I said, it shouldn't be that difficult. But you only have five seconds. Okay. If in five seconds you don't say anything, we're gonna have a penalty. Okay. So I'm going to start, and I'm gonna choose somebody randomly, okay? So I'm going to say a word and then I'm going to say the next person who has to say it. So you have to be quick, okay, to be thinking because if you, somebody says your name, you're not going to go, uh, uh, what, what are you going to do, right? So you have to be quickly thinking about the next word, okay? Everybody, ready? Okay, and just, just to make sure I have 
Cecilia or Ceci and Roxana, Roxy, right? You guys are there? Yes, yes. I'm here. Okay. C Cecilia, are you there? Yes, yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay. All right. And Selena, too? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Just making sure that that we have all the participants there. Okay, perfect. Okay, very good, guys. All right, so I'm going to start. Here we go. Um, the first word is um, cream. Veronica. Uh, green. Cream. Green. Cream. Cream, like uh, there, you can have cream to put on your face. Or cream uh, to eat cream. as well. Cream. 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 C R E A M. Cream. Yeah. So, Veronica, could you spell that again? Hello. Yeah, Veronica, can you can you spell that again? The last letter is M. Perfect. M. Okay. okay. The, the word is moon. The word is? Moon. Moon. Okay, perfect. All right. Say moon. M-O-O-N. Perfect. Okay. Who's the next person, Veronica? Uh, Cecilia. Okay. Uh, the, the, same, the same letter, the same word, cream. Moon. 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 Okay. Moon. Moon. Uh, mother. Uh, mother. Um. Or. And. Um, um, okay, Cecilia. Moon. What's the last letter of moon? Moon is N. 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 Okay. So you have N. to find. A word that starts with the letter N. Okay. A nose. Okay. Next person. Nose. Uh, ah, the next person is a uh, Josué Granados. Okay. Nose. Easy. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, next person is Daniel. Hello. Yellow. It's said yellow. Excellent. Yellow. Okay, next person. Uh, Gracia. Um, watermelon. And the next person is Carmen. New. New. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. We, we heard you, Carmen. Okay. Next person. New, uh, Veronica. Words. Words. Uh, Roxana. Uh, Saturday. Uh, Roxana, uh, what is the last letter of worse? Worse is S. Uh -huh. No. It's a silent letter. She said words. Yeah, she said worse. It's spelled W O R S. Uh -huh. Worse. Uh huh. What comes after the S? It's a silent letter. Eh? Yeah. Ah, she correct. said worse. Ah, okay. It's the opposite or, or good, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> okay, it's with the, E. Okay. It's e. The, compar the comparative. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a comparative uh, of, of, okay. of that. Okay, okay. The, the last letter is E. 
And the word is erase, eraser, eraser. And um, let me see, Jose Rodriguez. Okay, uh, room. Room is okay. You said run? Um, just run, yes. Yes, run. Run. Okay, perfect. Run. Okay, next 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 person. Uh, let me see. I don't know. I think everybody everybody Selena. Nice. Nice. The next person, eh, Gracia. Um, Easter. And the next person is Josue. Um, Rose. The next person is Jesus. Uh, you say boat. The last letter is P. D. Uh, Rose. You said yeah. elephant? Elephant? No, the no. last letter is D. D? D. Uh, D. Uh, uh, June? Or oh, June? June? June. June? Like uh, when you stay in a beach? Ah, okay. Yes, a dune. Yes, very good. Yes. Dune. Okay, next person. Uh, Cecilia. Cecilia. Okay. Um, Dune. The the last the, the last letter is E. Yes. Uh -huh. or e. Yeah. Um. Uh, elephant. It's, it's not word. Elephant. <laughs> Did anybody say elephant? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Elephant. Okay. Elephant. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Cecilia, you were right, but because they already said that word, we're going to have a penalty. Okay, so penalty for Cecilia. What should we get her to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any ideas? What should to tell, see this penalty be? To tell a story about the elephant. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. All right. Tell a story about an elephant, Cecilia. Okay. Um, uh, in as in um, one elephant, one elephant, uh, one elephant was um, was very one elephant uh, was um, very sad because uh, because your 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 mother, um, your mother, a uh, penalty in, in, in his, his, in his, um, different, no, 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 the Dumbo, Dumbo, the Dumbo is the, oh, what, what, what kind of history about the elephant? I don't. Any I don't story know. that you can think about an elephant. It can be a true story or a fictional story. Okay. Uh, one elephant. A elephant. Uh, his his name uh, is his name is a um, uh, Tonti. Uh, uh, the elephant uh, work. The elephant uh, 
working, working the, work in the, in the, in the uh, company, um, company very, very, very big because the, because your mother, um, because your mother. Cecilia, uh, my mother or his, or his no, mother? No, his mother, his mother, the okay. elephant, um, was, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, you're doing good. You're doing good, Cecilia. Uh huh. Because his mother, what happened to his mother? Or what did uh, his mother do? No, his mother, the elephant, uh, her, her, her wanted, um, her wanted, um, she wanted, loves, 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 uh, very much um, because is very very intelligent only only that <laughs> all right excellent bravo very very good okay very good Cecilia excellent okay all right guys very good so what we're gonna do now now that we've um you know, play a little game where we've um, activated our brains a little bit and think, to start thinking about um, English. Do you remember yesterday I left some questions for you to investigate today? Do you guys remember that? Yes. Yes, I hope you do. Okay. Just, um, just to make sure that you guys remember this. Yes. Okay, can everybody see right now my, uh, my screen? I'm sharing a PowerPoint presentation. Can you see that? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right, so here we're at some in the Savants of the Laws, right? And this is day two, Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. And uh, for today, our objective is Can, let me see if maybe you guys can help me read. Uh, maybe, Grace, can you help me read the objective, Grace? Yeah. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use and practice infinity, infinity and German phrases. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much, Grace. All right, so hopefully, at the end of um, today's class, you will be able to use um, these infinitive and gerund phrases well. Okay, but first, in order to be able to use infinitive and gerund phrases, we need to understand what is a gerund, what is an infinitive, right? Because if we don't understand what each one is, we won't be able to use it, okay? So, um, what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is, um, these are some of the questions I asked yesterday. What is a gerund? What is its function? Is it a verb, a noun, an adjective, an adverb? Okay, those were the questions I asked, right? And the same thing that I asked yesterday for you guys to discuss with your group. Um, what, whoops, oh my, sorry about that. Just trying to get this part out. So you guys can concentrate on better. Oh my goodness. It doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay, can you guys see that? I just, I think that little part where it says that uh, uh, click by an app, Tito, no, it's not helping out very well, much. Uh, you can get rid, get rid of this uh, in design, on design. Uh, on the diapositivas menu, and there is the diseño. Yeah. yeah, I think you're I'm gonna do that. Thank you. Okay, let's do it. In blank. Okay, now I just need to put this a little more centralized, and then I'll be okay. Okay, so the other question that I had for you guys was, what is an infinitive and what is its function? 
Is it a verb? Is it a noun? Is it an adjective? Is it an adverb? Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, it's something simple. Um, you guys, I'm hoping you had a, an opportunity to um, look up those questions, maybe on the internet, explore those. And what I want you to do right now is to actually brainstorm with your classmates what, uh, what answers you came up with. So I'm going to give you about five minutes to work in the breakout rooms. Okay, you guys have gone to breakout rooms before? Yeah, right? Okay, so I'm going to assign you guys to breakout rooms. Um, let's see. Okay, let me see how many I have here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to send you into groups, into three groups. So we'll have three people per group. And just quickly discuss what you guys um, think about these questions. What are gerunds? What are infinitives? And then we'll come back, okay? Um, Give me a second, let me prepare these and okay, here we go. You can go ahead and join your group. Uh, Selena, do you need help? Infinity. Okay. Hi guys, just question. Uh, just wonder if you guys have any questions. Uh, from my side, no. Oh, no? any question for the moment? Nothing. Infinity. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. Anything? Uh, if you need help, just um, you can you can ask for help there in in the in the room. Okay. Uh, in about. Two, three minutes, we'll, we'll be closing the rooms. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have to ask from... The gerund, um, it is when the verb is followed by the ing form, but I think that it is like, um, like a noun because, for example, um, um, the, the swimming or dancing, um, it sounds like um, it's like a noun and not like a bear as, as as you said in the in the last examples what do you think uh, a gerund is sorry i was just wondering do you girls need any help 
just the yeah. chart we were talking about the the gerund, and okay. we think that it is like a, a is acting like a noun. Mm hmm. Very good. That's a good. You're absolutely right. It's acting like a noun. Very good. Very very good. Okay. Excellent. Any other questions that you have? Um, no. <laughs> I just uh, try to to start uh, doing the in the the platform exercise, but I I couldn't have in any of that good. So I think yeah. I have to practice a little bit yeah, more. I I understand. Yeah, that's why you need this class to be able to understand a little bit better. And after today, I'm sure you will be able to work on the platform. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. So, Thank you. So, so, yeah. Don't worry. We'll help you. And if you don't get it, remember, ask more questions, right? The idea is that by the end of this class, you'll be able to understand this. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and okay welcome back guys um so uh, I hope you all had opportunity of discussing there with your group. Um, I don't know, did we lose some people in the, on the way? Because I feel like I have less people. I feel, yeah, I feel like I have less people than I, what I started with. Okay, but it's okay. All right, so tell me guys, first of all, first question that we had was, what is a gerund? Who can, who can volunteer and tell me what, you found out. What is a gerund? Only one person. It's okay. Only one it person. <laughs> okay. I guess it's a, a present form teacher where, where uh, the there is no conflict. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel, for your, your input. Okay, good. All right, who's next? I know that you all wanted to participate, so you're just gonna have to wait your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, the gerund is uh, the ing form of verb. Uh, modify the verb and the uh, verb change to the action. I think, teacher. Excellent. Carmen, very good. It, that's that's right. It's um, the form. It's the form, the ing form of a verb. Very good. Now, next question. What is the function? What is the function of a uh, of a gerund? Is it a verb, a noun, an adjective, an adverb? What? Mm. It could be a noun. Uh -huh. a noun. Could be a noun, okay. Good, Josue. Any other ideas? What is this? Uh, combining with the to be, it will, uh, the, um, the present continuous, I think. Okay, okay. Thank you. Any other ideas? No? Okay, all right, no problem. Actually, a gerund um, can act as a, it can act as a, um, a noun, it can act as an adjective, and it can even add, act as an adverb. So it really depends. But with something that's very important to understand is that gerunds are not verbs, or they don't function as verbs anyways, okay? So they are in the form, better said, they, the root is a verb with the ing, but it does not act like, an, uh, like a verb, okay? It's not an action. Let's keep that in mind. Do you understand that? 
Yes, yes, Carmen. Change the function. The function. Wait, so wait. The way that it the way yes. that it works. Right? The way that it ah, works okay. is not an action. Okay? Okay. It's a noun. Okay. Okay? It's a noun, okay. it's an adjective, it's an action. Okay? Okay. What about what about a a an infinitive? What is an infinitive? In in an infinitive, mm -hmm. at the beginning we add two, and after or uh, two plus a uh, verb basic form. Very good, Carmen. Exactly. So we have the 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 two, and then we have the verb. Okay. So in order yes, to create the an basic form, good. Okay. In order to create an infinitive, we need a verb. Good. What is the function now? What's the function of the verb? Uh, it describes I, an action. Uh -huh. Good, it describes an action. Okay, could be. Daniel, what do you think over there? What do you think is the function of an infinitive? I'm not sure, teacher. Okay. Uh, I yes. think it also can uh, can describe um, a command. Yeah, it could. It could actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Yeah. An infinitive is actually. Um, a noun as well. Okay, so yes, it comes from a verb, but the function again is not a verb. It's not. It's never. Well, if it's an infinitive in this case, uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't uh, use it no very much as a verb, but more of a noun. Okay, um, especially what we're going to be studying today, which is noun phrase. Sorry, with uh, infinitive uh, phrases. So in this case, we're not talking about a. It's not a verb, it's actually more of a noun. Now, just to remem remember, what is a noun? So that we're clear, what is a noun? The subject of any sentence. Good, okay, so it can be a subject, yes. Very good. What else, what else can it be? What comes after a verb normally? So we have the subject, we have the verb, and then, for example, if I say, um, I, watch, um, I watch movies on Saturday. I watch movies. What is that? That's not a subject. Movies is not a subject. It would be an? Compliment. A compliment, yes, yes. And the compliment includes on? Ob object. object. Very good. Exactly. An object. Very good. So we can have it as a complement or a specifically an object. Okay. Good. So now that we understand this idea, I think it will be much easier for you guys to understand what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be sharing here our whiteboard. I'm going to write some examples here. Okay. All right, everybody can see the whiteboard? Yes? Yeah, I can. Anybody yes. can't see it? So gerund and infinitive phrases. Okay, just so that you guys um, are clear about what is a gerund, I'm gonna make I'm going to be make it a uh, just so 
to be completely sure that when we're talking about gerund, normally we're talking here about a noun, for example. Okay, I'll give you an example. I love, oops, let me change that to lowercase. There we go. Okay, I love apples. Okay, this simple sentence here, let's understand what we're talking about. Um, okay, who, who can tell me what is the subject here? What's the subject? In the sentence, I have apples. Sorry? I. I, good, okay. So I. Here we have, okay. okay, so here we have our subject. Okay, good. What is um what is love? There. Mm -hmm. Very good. That is our verb. Let's put it over here. So what is this? Okay. So what's a, what is a, compliment? Good. Yes, it's a compliment. And what what specifically? What kind of compliment? A noun. Good. Okay. Object. Object. Very good. It's a noun. Excellent. And it's specifically a noun that is an object. Okay. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So after, yeah. after the verb, love, we would have to have a noun, right? We have to say what we love. What is the thing that we love? Okay? Now, what I can do also is make it a little more complicated or more complex. The sentence, I can make it more complex. How am I gonna make it more complex? I'm going to add a gerund. So instead of just saying, I love apples, I'm going to change this and I'm going to say, simply, I love eating, okay? So this is telling me what is the thing that I love? Yeah, what is the thing I love? I love eating, okay? Now, does that make sense for everybody? It is, if, if I want to change uh, infinitive, can I say I love to eat apples? Yes, yes, Carmen, you can say Can I that. say, or, or it's correct? Yes, yes, you can. Um, be, the, the reason why you can do this is because love is a verb that can use a gerund or an infinitive after. But not all verbs are like that. Just there are some verbs. And love is one of those verbs. Okay. Okay? But... Um, okay. It's just a, like an exception, let's say, okay? All right, so okay. if you notice here, eating is not a verb. Eating here is the thing that I love. So that's why it's acting as an object. It's the noun. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. But that's just a gerund. Okay, eating is just a gerund. But what we're studying here are gerund and infinitive phrases. So what is a, what is a gerund phrase? Well, basically it's this. Phrases are parts of sentences that are put together, right? Uh, with a noun and a verb or whatever sort that we put them together. Okay, so Instead of just saying I love eating, I can say I love 
eating apples. And so now my noun is not just eating. My, my, or the object is not just eating. In this case, a, in this case, my noun as an object is more than just eating. It's this. It's eating apples. Oops. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Sorry, I can't seem to get the, the other one, but you guys get the idea. Okay, so now my noun as object is not just simply the word eating, because eating would be just a gerund. In this case, it's what I like, what do I love? love? Just eating? Is that what I love? What do you guys think? No, eating apples. Eating apples. Exactly. It's not just eating that I love. It's eating apples that I love. So all of this is a gerund phrase. Basically, a gerund phrase is a, ger uh, uh, a phrase that includes a gerund. But normally, like I said before, it can act all of it together, can act as a noun, or sometimes as an adjective, or sometimes even as an adverb. Normally, though, it acts like a noun. Okay, now I have shown you here a sentence um, as an example of a noun as an object, but I can also make a sentence with a gerund phrase um, as a subject. I'll give you an example. Okay, um, I can say, oops, let me change this color to make it easier for you guys. Okay, let me gonna say swimming is good exercise to practice yeah. for knee injuries. Oops. The injuries. Okay. All right. Now tell me guys what what here what is this the verb here? What's the verb in the sentence? Practice. Mm, okay. Swimming. <laughs> do we start? Do we start um, sentences with the verb? The verb is. The verb is to be. Good. Okay. Remember, we never start a sentence in English with a verb. Okay. So swimming can't be the. The the verb here. So the verb is, is, okay? Is, yeah. Yeah, exactly, is. Um, so we have the verb, oops. Change that, good, okay, there we go. Okay, so the verb is, is. So if the verb is, is, <laughs> what is swimming? It's a, noun. It's, a noun. it's a noun. That's right. It's a noun. And what kind of a noun is it? Is it a noun as an object? What kind is it? Noun as a what? What goes at the beginning of a sentence? You say subject. Sorry? Noun as a subject. Very good. Noun as a subject. Okay. So in this case, swimming is a subject. Yeah? Okay. So since remember, this is a noun and not a verb, can you guys tell me what this sentence would say in Spanish? What would this sentence say in Spanish? Nadar es buen ejercicio, o es bueno, 
No, no sé. Es un ejercicio para las lesiones de rodilla. Ok, very close, very good. But remember, now that is a verb. And, and we, we said that, that close. What's, what's that? Nadar es un buen ejercicio para practicar por lesiones de rodilla. Remember what Carmen said a, a while ago, just a, a, bit, a, a few minutes ago? She said that nouns are activities. So, swimming, would, how would you translate that in Spanish? If swimming is an activity. La natación. Right, very good, there you go, exactly. La natación, okay? So, la natación is a noun. So, could you guys tell me in Spanish what that says? La natación es un buen ejercicio práctico para las lesiones de rodilla. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. something like that. Ok, la natación es un buen ejercicio para practicar. Um, o a practicar para cuando hay lesiones de rodilla. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly. So notice that here swimming is a subject. Uh, sorry, it's a, yeah, it's a subject. Now, how do we cre create... Um, how do we create or how do we change this um, to a gerund phrase? Well, basically we do it like this. Oops. See. We can say, for example, swimming in a pool is a good exercise for practice to practice for knee injuries. In this case, the 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 sorry the the, the phrase becomes swimming in a pool. In a pool. La natación. Mm -hmm. Where? La natación en, en, la piscina. Piscina. en una piscina, exactly. En una piscina. piscina. Mm -hmm. So it's not just la natación like in, you know, in the ocean. It would be in a pool, right? Ser. Or in la, una piscina. Uh -huh. So the swimming in a pool. So all of this becomes a gerund. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so basically what happens with gerund's, uh, gerund phrases is that it makes the, the sentence more specific. If you notice, it's not just eating, it's eating apples. It's not just swimming, it's swimming in a pool. Okay, so it makes it much more specific. The same thing happens with infinitive phrases. Okay, the same, if you notice here we have an infinitive phrase. You probably hadn't noticed this before. And so let me draw your attention to that. We have here, look, to practice for knee injuries. In this case, notice we're being very specific. What good, good exercise for what? In this case, the same idea. This is, this is an infinitive phrase. It's, um, it's a noun um, that acts or as, sorry, as a complement. But this one specifically is an infinitive phrase. Does that make sense for you guys? Any yes. questions about that? Questions you guys want to ask? Notice here, it's the same thing. We have an infinitive, right? But to practice oh, yeah. for knee injuries. 
all of this together becomes a noun phrase. Oh, sorry, an infinitive phrase. Okay. Okay, any questions, guys? Maybe we have to practice. Exactly. More Absolutely. You're gonna, and that's what you have. You're going to have a chance to practice um, in the platform. You can start practicing a little bit in the platform. If you guys have any questions, you can write them down, like I said before, and we can go ahead and answer any questions as well, right? Uh, you can write in the chat, in the WhatsApp group, um, and, you know, if, if there's any questions that you guys have. All right. Okay. So, um, we are going to continue practicing with this tomorrow. Don't worry. Okay, so this is not the only practice we're going to have. Okay, we're going to continue practicing. Um, the idea is for you guys to get it as much as possible. Okay, um, so what I can do is I can send you um, in the in the WhatsApp. I can send you some exercises that you can do. Okay, and um, you can you can identify where is the um, the. I'll send you some sentences. You can identify where is the gerund phrase, where is the infinitive phrase, and that will help you a little bit better to understand how to do the exercises. Okay, sounds good, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Um, anything where you want to tell me? Any comments you have, doubts before we leave? Uh, just a quick one. Uh, okay. I think I'm not in the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a, thank you for letting me know. Do you want to give me your, um, your telephone number so I can, I can see if I can add you? Yes. Uh, six one. Yeah. Nine five. Yeah. Six seven. Yeah. Six one. Okay. Let me, um, let me just get that back to you. It's a six one. Nine five six seven six one. Is that correct? Yes. Perfect. Okay. I will see what I can do so that you can be in the group. No problem. Anybody else that is not in the group? Not teacher. No. Gracias. Okay. Perfect. No. I used to be, but <laughs> last time uh, they all uh, take us out of the group, but I'm not in the new one. 